Dick Alkenbright. I'm the mayor of the city of North Adams. Lifelong resident. I've uh, been here my entire life and uh, very, very proud to be in the seat. I announced uh, probably about a month or so ago that I will be running for a third term, a third term in office. Um, um, uh, my uh, election's in November, so uh, very excited to be running for a third term and uh, carrying forward uh, some of the things that we, we've been trying to do here for four years. People look at North Adams, and I, 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 I say a lot of times we look at we're in the palm of God's hand. If you look at us from up on the mountain, we're this just beautiful, serene place, which we are. But we have many urban challenges, no different than in many cases Holyoke or, or West Springfield or Lawrence or Lowell, whatever. Uh, we have some of those concerns. And so when we started to see the spike in crime um, and, and even some more violent types of crimes, uh, realizing that they all go back to alcohol and, and, and addiction, uh, we kind of called in the reinforcements. So uh, the last several weeks, um, there's been an increased presence here of state police, um, Berkshire County Drug Task Force and others. Uh, help us get some of these things under control. The future of the next term, you know, really holds hopes for con uh, for continued growth. You know, one of the things I'm I'm very proud of is that in the last 24 months or so, we've seen either the growth expansion of or new businesses. We've seen 20, uh, 25, or I think, or 26 new businesses either open or expand. So we've seen some small business growth. We've seen the growth, the opening of the Super Walmart. We've got two more large national retailers coming in where the old Walmart was. Uh, we're seeing uh, some growth. Crane, uh, Crane uh, Fine uh, Print has uh, has made North Adams their uh, basically printing headquarters, worldwide headquarters for, for fine state for fine printing. Um, so we're just hoping for continued growth. Um, privatization of our Heritage State Park is a very, very big thing that's on the table now. We're working very hard to uh, privatize the, the, the park, which is kind of city state owned, uh, put it back in the hands of private investment, um, and uh, put it on the tax rolls. Uh, and hope for uh, a bigger and, and you know more enlivened park. Now, the other thing is we're going to be working you know closely with MCLA, which is uh, one of our greatest community partners. And you know how do we uh, the Center for Science and Innovation that they're building now? You know how do we make that more of a, a community partnership? What more can come from that? What can grow from from that uh, 40 plus million dollar investment? Uh, continuing to work with Mass Mocha. Uh, North Adams Regional Hospital. These are our, really our, our cornerstones of our community, the major employers, and, and just really uh, growth of small business uh, and the sustainability of our larger businesses, and then looking at all sectors as to how we can grow. Um, I think is kind of what we're really going to continue to focus on, more more doing what we're doing, um, and I think we're, we're doing a lot of right things, keeping government wide open, um, allowing a lot of uh, thoughts and ideas. We'll be unveiling our master plan in probably December, January, February, somewhere in that point in time. Uh, we hadn't had a master plan in school for 43 years. Um, so, you know, we're kind of hoping that that'll be our, uh, you know, stepping off point for a lot of good things. So, we've got a lot of irons in the fire and uh, we're just hoping to continue with what we're doing. We're making that, that comeback from the old mill town to uh, a, a city kind of wrapped around arts and culture a bit, uh, I guess on the mo for the most part, but also embracing of virtually every other sector. You know, we have education, we have medicine, we have light manufacturing, we have technology, we have all of these different sectors here in the city. And uh, we're very, I think we're a very welcoming place. And, uh, love visitors. <laughs>